Let's read a book with Teacher Cloud. So, come on, let's start. Today we are going to read Jack's Giant Problem. Remember the beanstalk that soared to the sky? And Jack, the young boy who climbed up it to spy? He found a vast land and a giant with gold. The smart Jack soon slaughtered him. Or so we have been told. You see, all those stories are really not true. You've heard of one being stuck. I swear they were two. Jack's mother, on finding the pen she was bare, raced out to find Jack with a look of despair. With nothing to eat and no money for bread. I can't have us starving, so Daisy instead. Jack set off the next day, the cow at his side. He hadn't gone far when an old woman cried. That cow looks quite friendly. I'm lonely, you see. If I gave you beans, would you trade her with me? Some beans, spotted Jack. They are magic, she said. Jack eyed them with wonder, but they shook his hair. The woman was sad. Well, if you change your mind, go straight to that wood, and my house, my house lies behind. They watched as the woman then put her beans back. He noticed a hole at the base of her sack. I'll drop one, he screamed, then I won't have to pay. He snuck up a bean, then led Daisy away. When Jack returned home after selling their cow, his mother was puffing while pulling the plow. There's no need to work, Jack called out. Come and see, as well as some go. I've got magic with me. His mother was puzzled. What does that bean do? Jack frowned in response. I do not have a clue. He tinkered and tasted the rest of the day. Then, filthy with frustration, he threw it away. That night, a huge beanstalk soared up to the sky. Jack jumped out of bed and he gave a glad cry. We'll have beans for lunch. I should climb to the top. I'll throw the beans down. I scoop them up when they drop. So Jack climbed up nimbly and Jack climbed up quick. He climbed and he prick till the leaves grew quite thick. Jack pushed through the leaves, at his gap at the side. A castle! He gasped and jumped up in the light. Jack snuck to the castle. He crept through the door. Then Jack stopped and stared, finding treasures galore. He really reached for a bag full of gold. Then he heard someone shout. He no longer felt bold. Jack frantically looked for a place he could hide. He spotted a jug and climbed quickly inside. But then he was baffled. Are those sounds of glee? He plucked up his courage and stood up to see. And there played a giant who roaring and jiggling, was tickling a baby, both squiggling and grilling. I smell the blood of an English pen. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack stuttered in surprise till he heard, time for dreams, then cried at the sound of the baby's loud screams. The giant was calm, he just stole his harp, play harp, sent Ben to sleep, Ben then sleep right away. If I had that harp, Jack thought fast in his greed. I'll make people sleep and then steal all we need. Jack tiptoed inside when the giant walked out. Then Jack snapped the harp, but the harp gave a shout. Stop! Jack speed from the castle. The giant gave chase. Jack looked back in fright as the giant kept pace. He hurried down the beanstalk, the harp on his arm, 
His mother looked up with the greatest alarm. Oh, Jack, raise down nimbly. Oh, Jack, when raise down quick. I'll cut down the beanstalk. That should do the trick. The poor giant watched as Jack landed below, but hearing Ben's screams, he turned slowly to go. And so life got caught in the land in the sky. Ben no longer slept. He would just fuss and cry. But far below, things were now easy for Jack. He stole all he could, and he brought Daisy back. His mother received their new wealth with surprise. Jack dodged all her questions by making up lies. But Jack wanted more, so he set up one day. The giant has gold. I need beans right away. He searched for the old woman's house while she slept and cheered when he found where the beans were all kept. But Jack was now noisy and Jack was now slow. Jack cried and he propped in a rush to go. The next day, a new bean stuck soaring to the sky. Jack slipped from his house without saying goodbye. Away in the distance, the witch set up too. That boy has a problem, and a lesson is due. Jack's mother went pale when the witch shared her news. She raced after Jack, not a moment to lose. The wish turned to leave. Then she smiled the cow. I have paid with my beans, so I will take you home now. Jack searched for the giant, then made the hard play. He felt pounds of guilt, but he pushed them away. He grabbed at the goal, and he wobbled in delight. But hearing his mother, he froze out of fright. Jack Winfred Jones, it is time you confessed. That giant's exhausted. Just look at this mess. Now, you get to work while I try to explain how your thoughtless choices have caused others pain. The castle was gleaming. Jack now understood. He stopped the hard plane, prepared to make good. The giant wake up and stretch, satisfied, then stare at the spike and span castle, while I I'm sorry, Jack trembled, for what you went through, I thought of myself and did not think of you. The giant looked bored, but Ben answered back. He owed and he jiggled and he reached out for Jack. Jack won back their trust with the lesson he learned. They loved Jack so dearly, they never returned. The days filled with merriment, more than before. The castle resounded with jiggling once more. Si gustó esta lectura, pues dale like y suscríbete al canal. Recuerda que tienes una lista de reproducción donde encontrarás más de 200 lecturas para practicar el idioma inglés. También tenemos otras listas de reproducción como vocabulario, tiempos verbales, facial verbs y demás. Así que hazle clic en la campanita para que no se te olvide ninguna notificación que yo haga. Ahora, si quieres clases de inglés con Digital, pues entra a www.teachercloud.com y encontrarás todos mis cursos. Así que nos vemos muy pronto.